In this video, I will show you how to reduce the harsh lighting formed by an area light on the product. Let's start by adding an area light in our scene. Let's also add a plane. Click the plane and the light and move it up on the Z axis. Click on the plane, move it down a little bit. Now this plane will act as a soft box in our scene. Click on the plane, head over to the shader editor, create a new material, delete the principal BSDF, press shift A and search for translucent BSDF. Connect this, name the material diffuser. After that, click on your plane and then click on the light, press Ctrl P and object keep transform to set the area light as a parent. So whenever you move your area light, the diffuser we created moves with it too. I'm going to add a track 2 constraint to the area light and track it to an empty that I created. This makes it easier for me to move the area light. Now you can see that the diffuser we created is visible in the camera. So to hide it, click on the plane, go to object properties, go to visibility, in ray visibility, uncheck this camera option. The diffuser will still work but it won't be visible in the camera. So this is our area light and this is the diffuser we created. Now watch what happens when I remove the diffuser. I'm pressing H to hide it. You can see the harsh light on the bottle and if I bring back the diffuser you can see how much soft the lighting is now compared to the harsh light we had earlier. If I increase the size of the area light this still does not help. The lighting gets even more dull than before and after adding the diffuser this looks much better. We have another example over here. You can see how harsh the lighting is on this watch and this usually happens with materials like glass or any other shiny metals. Now if we unhide our diffuser, you can see the difference is huge, how soft the lighting is between this and this. You can also play with the distance of the diffuser and the light. The more it is close to the product, the more soft lighting you get. But I recommend keeping it nearby the light. And then again, you can adjust the lighting according to your liking. You can see the difference between the render before using the diffuser and after using the diffuser. We have reduced the harsh lighting on the product. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Almost 87% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed to the channel. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Also comment what more tutorials you would like to see on this channel in the future. Thank you for watching.